I cannot wait to show you some of my favorite new cruise essentials that I think you're going to love and be able to use on your cruises in 2021. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you 20 amazing cruise essential items. Some of them are actually new for this year. If you're used to some of the guides that I have on my website, I will link them down below. Now I know we haven't been able to cruise much in 2020, but it doesn't mean that we don't wanna get prepared for 2021. And at the same time, we may want to get a gift for a favorite cruiser in our lives or even treat ourselves. I think we probably deserve it after this year. Now, before I get started, I did wanna mention that if you do like the video, if you find it helpful, informative, enjoyable in any way, then please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And of course, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. We go over cruise news, cruise tips, and well, lots of gift lists just like this. Let's get started. So I wanna start off with something really practical. These are packing cubes. Now the ones that I have here are the Gonex brand. I actually bought a couple of different sets of them. And what I really like about these is they come in different sizes. The small size was actually perfect for underwear and socks and that kind of thing. And then this larger size was able to hold, um, you know, dresses and pants and all those sorts of things. And it's actually surprising how much actually fit into it. In one of the medium sizes, we were able to fit 13 small men's shirts for my son on our last cruise. Now, if you haven't used packing cubes yet, the nice thing about them is they really kind of just help you to keep organized. We found that when we were going to our cruise port, like the day before, or even a couple days before, we were able to keep some items separate in our carry-on bag. Um, as well, you can color code them. So if you have a family that you're cruising with, you can have everybody in the family get a different color. We absolutely love these and we're able to actually keep the packing cubes just sort of folded um, open uh, in our drawer and we were able to keep some things just staying in the packing cube and it made it like super easy to pack and unpack. All right, let's move on. Now, did you know that the cabin walls in a cruise are actually metal, which means that magnets will actually hold on to them. So magnet clips, magnet hooks. So what we really like about these magnet hooks, and you know that they're really a cruise essential, so many cruisers swear by them, is that these small little magnet hooks are heavy duty, so they hold quite a lot, but we were able to put about three of them outside of our bathroom door, another three we put in our cabin, and this way we could hang up um, sun hats, backpacks, beach bags, uh, really it held quite a lot and it gave us an extra storage space that was really on the wall because as you know, on a cruise, or maybe you don't know, but on a cruise, there really just aren't a lot of hooks or even a lot of storage space oftentimes. So I love these magnet hooks and I think you will too. I will have a link down below to all of the items. All right. Next up is something completely new for me. Now, this is a power bar. However, it is one that is a little bit different because it is so small and compact. I don't know if you can see that. I think so. You have three spaces for electrical outlets and you have three spots for a USB holder. And it is just so small, I absolutely love it. Now this item is actually by the brand Cruise On. And I have to say thank you to Cruise On who sent me a few items to sample and to take a look at. And of course this video is not sponsored by them in any way. Um, however, I did really wanna show it to you because I've tried it. I loved it even though I tried it at home and hoped to be able to try it on Cruise, but I did really love it. In the past we had brought a power bar that was really quite large and it was large and long and it, it took up a lot of space, but I'm excited on our next cruise to bring this one. So again, I'm gonna have everything linked down below. I will have a gift guide of actually 50 different items. So even though I'm featuring 20 in this video today, I will have 50 items in a blog post below for you to check out. Well, who doesn't like towel clips? Did you notice my towel clips behind me? They're decorating the tree. My favorite thing, they just make me happy, are these towel clips. I have them in flamingos and I have them in margarita glasses. 
we also, because we just really like towel clips and we bring them to the beach, we bring them everywhere. We have some simple ones like this as well. And they are just an absolute must for those breezy days on the cruise ship, as well as beach days. You definitely want some towel clips and they make great gifts. While we're at it, looking at beach items, I love this great big beach bag. You can see how large it is. You have probably seen it on Amazon and that is where I bought it. It actually holds four large towels from a cruise ship. So you can imagine how big that is. So you can put your water bottles, your sunscreen, your um, your towels. Um, this here is all a waterproof liner, so it's very practical. Now it also does come with a little beer opener. I don't know that you really need it, but it comes with it. So we love this. And because we are super practical with the way that we go on a cruise is I actually use this as a carry-on bag, sort of my duffel carry-on bag. And this way I put the items that I really need for the day, my swimwear, that kind of stuff, as well as my valuables, that kind of thing. And I just kind of keep that on me. So this way this doubles as my carry-on bag and you may like this too. Now, keeping with practical cruise essentials, these make amazing stocking stuffers, or again, a gift for yourself because you are going to need them if you don't already have them. These luggage tags are reusable. Now you'll notice they are actually in different sizes. So this one here is for a Royal Caribbean or a celebrity cruise. And this one here is for Princess or a Holland America cruise. When you go on the link in the blog post below, you will be able to see that you can choose from the different sizes. And just to give you an idea, this was my princess luggage tag that I used for my last cruise. And I used to spend time folding the paper luggage tags, stapling them, and then I would tape them on top of it because I was worried that they would fall off. This is so much more practical and really it took me absolutely five minutes and I was able to do them all ahead of time. I highly recommend buying luggage tags. This nightlight is perfect for anybody who is sailing in an inside cabin. Now it is activated by a motion sensor, so super practical. It's also magnetic, the base, and it's adhesive, but because it's magnetic, you can actually put it onto the cabin wall and it will stay there. And you do need a couple batteries for it, so that's the only thing to keep in mind, get the batteries before you cruise. Now, if you or the cruiser in your life doesn't already have one, something that is super popular with cruisers is this over the door organizer. Now this one by Cruise On is super handy with these nice large spaces for everything. So you could put flip flops in, you could put sunscreen in. Now I have a little tip for you. I have a friend and she cruises with her family with her two children and what she does is she actually pre-packs all of this. So she packs her children's um, hair things, um, little things like the goggles and stuff. She gets this all packed up and then she folds it away in the suitcase. And then on the day that she arrives on the cruise, she simply unfolds it and hangs it up. Amazing. Now, one of my favorite items that I actually got last year is this hanging toiletry bag. And what I really like about this hanging toiletry bag is it has these clear pouches. So let me open it up. It also does hang, like I said. And because it has these clear pouches, you can actually remove them. You could just use one at a time if you want, which is what we did in our carry-on bag. And you can keep each um, clear pouch, could be for one person in the family, or you can have different items in it, but it was just super practical. And the fact that it was clear made it really easy to organize. Now it is available not only in this bright fuchsia pinky purple color, but also in black and in silver. Also something that makes a great stocking stuffer are these lanyards. Now they are available in different patterns. So this one here is an anchor one and I am Canadian and it's even available with the Canadian flag. Now I was going to save this till a little bit later in the video, but I just can't wait to show it to you. This is one of the new items that I bought and this is a makeup bag. I did buy it from Amazon and the brand is Bagsmart. I have something else to show you also from Bagsmart in just a minute. So let's open this up. You can see it's in blush pink. I love the color, but it is available in other colors as well. Now the zipper is very sturdy, but also has a really pretty look. It's in gold and I'll show you what it does. I think you're going to like this bag. Now, when we look, it is another hanging bag. So very, very practical. Now it does fold up 
whoop, it does fold up, but it also hangs. And since there are not a lot of hooks in the cabin, what you can do is you can use one of those magnetic hooks. Oh gosh, it's even, because it's metal, it's metal. But you can see, that's how you can hang it up. So it's really, really handy. And you can also use it even at home when you are not cruising. Now, let me show you it a little bit more in detail. There's a small pouch right over here and it's clear. So very, very nice. Now over here, we have another area also clear. And you could even put your makeup brushes or other items that you might want standing up and keeping in place. If we keep going, we have a similar pouch over here. So any of the different items that you have, you have a little space to kind of hold them. And again, another little part here. So you could really separate your things. You can keep your nail polishes in different uh, parts of the bag, your um, moisturizers and creams and lipsticks and all different things that you either want to use at home or that you want to bring on your cruise. So if you liked the makeup bag, then I think you will also like this jewelry organizer. It's by the same company, Bag Smart. And it's also in this blush pink color. I really like it. I would not say it's an absolute essential. However, it is a nice way to bring your jewelry on a cruise. And I know I just added it on once I bought that makeup bag. I thought it was so pretty. It's also available in several different colors. So let me show you what the inside looks like. And so you can see here we have a portion where you could put bracelets and things like that. And it's actually see-through. So that's really handy. Here you can put some rings, over here you can put earrings, and again, this part here, you can also put different items, and you have another pouch here as well. So very, very handy, and it really does make a great gift. It almost looks like a little, um, a little clutch, so pretty. Now before we get back to a few more practical items, I did want to show you something that the man in your life may like, and this is a knotted rope bracelets. You can see that here. There are a wide variety, a few different styles, including anchors. Really, really nice. This one is in black. I really like it, but there's ones that are in navy blue and a few different colors that you'll find as well. So that can make a really nice gift or stocking stuffer as well for the man in your life. Now back to cruising essentials. You probably have a carry-on bag and some luggage. However, do you have a garment bag? A garment bag is so practical to bring suits and to bring cocktail dresses. So we actually had this on our last cruise and it was really very practical. You can see that it kind of just, probably not doing the best job showing it to you, but it folds up in two and it really was able to leave our suits and dress pants and even my dress um, without wrinkles and we were able to just hang it up when we got to the cruise cabin and I really like a garment bag as one of the essentials for your packing items. There are two items that are absolute favorites and make great stocking stuffers. Unfortunately, I don't have them with me to show you, but one is a small travel fan. You know what? B cabins get stuffy, especially at nighttime. So you might want to have a small battery operated travel fan. You will appreciate that. And as well, a little bottle of poopery. And that does kind of, like it says, it kind of does more than just mask the smells that you might have coming from the cabin. It actually does eliminate them. So very handy to have on a cruise. Now, another item that is so handy on a cruise is a power bar, something like this, a power bank. And what this does is it really enables you to charge your phone while you are on the go. So you can actually charge two phones at the same time. Very, very handy. And if you have somebody who's taking a lot of pictures on their phone or video on the phone, or even just using the app, you know how quickly those iPhone batteries die or other phones as well. But I have an iPhone. Um, so I love this power bank and I definitely suggest having one. It's an absolute necessity for many people on a cruise, especially on shore excursions. Now, have you ever thought of a tripod or a selfie stick being a cruise essential? Well, it's not a cruise essential. It is pretty handy to have on vacation. I cannot tell you how many people asked me about it on our last cruise and it's inexpensive 
and it's really, really practical, whether you're making videos uh, for YouTube, like I am, or whether you're simply taking photos and videos for Instagram, for your own family, for Facebook, for whatever you like, super handy. Now your phone just goes here and it can go either this way, vertically or horizontally. And the nice thing is, I'll just show you, it is not only a selfie stick, so it can go pretty far, which is great, but it also is a tripod. So if you were lowering it, um, you could actually set it up to take a picture of you and your family, for instance, so very handy. And you have this remote control and it's Bluetooth. So you could actually click on it when you are ready to take that picture or video. Very, very practical. And I think that somebody in your life will love this. Do you see that? porthole right behind me? Well, that's just a little bit of fun. And that could be a great stocking stuffer for somebody who hasn't cruised and really could use a view like that. Now, one more item, and I think the crew will really appreciate it. If you've been wondering how to say thank you to the crew, you can write a nice note to them. You can also include, if you like, some cash in the card. Of course, that's completely up to you, but they have had probably a tough year. And if you appreciate their service, on your next cruise, I know it would be very appreciated by them. And of course, it does also make a nice little gift or stocking stuffer if you are buying a few items. Now, I hope that you've enjoyed this top 20 for 2020 cruise essential gift list. Please let me know down in the comments below what items you like best or what cruise essentials um, you have on your gift list or that you really think are awesome. Now down in the comments, you will notice that I'm going to be putting a couple of blog posts. One of them is my top 50 uh, best cruise gifts for cruisers. There are amazing things on there beyond cruise essentials to really novelty gifts and other items that cruisers really love. And as well, I'm going to include my blog post with over 25 cruise essentials that you'll definitely want to have on your next cruise. Now, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And of course, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.